Hey everyone, it's Jack Fuki again. I'm back with another 1500 scale airliner review, and today we're going to be looking at the Herpa Lufthansa Airbus A321 131, 50th anniversary colors. This is Herpa catalog number 514637, and it is a, I believe, a 2005 or 2006 release. It's a limited edition. Comes in the, uh, as mentioned before, 50th anniversary colors. And the registration is D AIRX and is powered by two V2530 A5 engines. This one will, this review might take a little longer because I'm going to have to pull the model out of the box. But um, there's that stuff, pretty nice. 50 years right there. Um, side of the box, obviously. A little too much glare on there is causing it to not focus right. Side of the box there. And back of the box just has a few few details here and there. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool flip up window box. And there is the box right there. Sorry, I can't pull back enough to where you can see everything. And then of course it's got that stupid glare on there. But it just goes through um, just a little history of the um, 50 years of Lufthansa. Um, not that the airline was 50 years old, but um, it, it's to commemorate the post-war Lufthansa. And, of course, there is the plane right there. So that's the end of the review, everybody. Later. No, but... Now there is the plane. Go ahead and I'll take it out of the, out of the box here. Hopefully the camera doesn't fall over. <coughs> really nice model. I got it not too long after it came out, which is roughly around the time I first started collecting these. But there is the plane right there. I do also have this one in 1200 scale, which is pretty neat. Trying to do a good close up there. Nice how they did that. It's like one of the few retro liveries, I think, that actually looks good on a modern plane. Uh, A321's got to be my... I, I would say it's it's a toss-up between the A321 and the A340 as far as my favorite Airbus plane. I like this one because the wings are real stubby looking. Pretty cool. It's got a short wingspan. There's that. This is uh, one of the few, though, that I've had issues with on the on the landing gears. I, I didn't break it or anything, but the wheels down there are incredibly small. So I suggest that anybody who gets an A321 model from Herpa, you just dab it with a like a speck of glue and then just keep it on its back until it dries. Never put them back into the tray after gluing it because it'll fog up the model and it'll ruin it. I just know that because I know how super glue works. <coughs> Unfortunately I haven't had that happen to me. But um, unfortunately I also found the wheel after it came off. There is the bottom. Kind of strange they didn't put the registration on the wing. 
but yeah, it's a pretty nice model. Um, somebody said that the title right there, Lufthansa, that it's the wrong, either the wrong size or the wrong, kind of the wrong fonts or something like that, but looks fine to me. I know that it, it might not be historically accurate, but still pretty cool. And just to show you, for example, the difference, or the what it's supposed to look like, or what it's supposed to emulate, that, and then there's a 707. 707 I don't have a box for, I just, I bought it, and that's just how it came. Still don't understand how people lose boxes to these things, but, oh well. But, um, yeah, that should do it. Um, that's the review on this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Go, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. And it's time for me to go get a drink to clear my throat here. All right. Later, everyone.